this video I do hope you can hear me I haven't done one like this before but I'm going to show you how I generally organize and set up my lever arch folders for university this is my roman art folder none of them are really complete because at university there's always things that you can do and add to your notes so at the very front of my folders and i do this with all of my papers i just print out the bibliography which i find online this is just easy access right at the front it gives me a general overview of the paper and then just general textbooks and books to read for each topic then at the front here as well i also have this first lecture which gives a background on roman art because it's not a specific topic that comes up in the course but it is very good background information so i've got that and then i've printed out the lecture slides as well that go with it just so that it's easy access and i can have a look at them when i'm going through the notes i've made notes for these online and i haven't printed them out yet <laughs> Then I just have a simple 10 dividers in my folder. The way I use the dividers is I either will have 10 if that is enough or I will have 14. The reason being is my papers are either taught in 12 weeks or 8 weeks. Most of my papers are taught in 12 weeks because the classics course at Oxford, they teach them in a term and a half for your papers for your finals. If it's 8 weeks, I can have a divider for each week and the topic that we cover. And then I have two extra for general revision notes or notes and then another one for lectures or past papers or anything like that. If a paper is taught in 12 weeks, I will have 14 dividers and it's the same. In the first one, I have the first topic that I covered. So I've got my reading list. I would always have my reading list that I'm sent printed out. This means it's easy for me to tick off if I've done it or not. Then I will have my initial thoughts. So after I've taken my reading notes, which will be online on my laptop, then I will write down on a blank piece of paper my initial thoughts and how I kind of want to plan my essay. I put that in as well. Then I'll obviously write the essay and my tutor will give me comments and I've put this essay in. And then after that, I then have my tutorial with my tutor discussing my essay and the topic. So I'll put my tutorial notes in here. And as you can see, this topic was on imperial portraiture. So after I've got my tutorial things, I've then got a little sticky divider here to differentiate between my tutorial work and my lecture notes. So these are all the lecture notes that cover this type of this kind of topic so we've got here dynastic images making roman art varieties of provincialism so all of these relate to the topic and are all in the same divider if that makes sense and that's what i pretty much do for every topic so the next one my topic is wall painting here i've got the reading list then I've done my notes on my computer, done my essay plan, written my essay, got my feedback, got my tutorial notes. And then again, here is a handout from a lecture which relates to it. And I actually haven't put a sticky note here, so I will do that now. If we go right to the back, in number 10 it's got all the lectures which i can't really fit into the other dividers and i've just printed out the lecture slides as well and it's also got past papers that i've done as mock exams as well as my written work here yeah that's my essential layout for my binders i still have a lot of organization to go and i also have these four zipper wallets that i've shown you before and talked about before i only have four of these because these are for my papers which have latin language elements in them so this is my roman history 5 one and i printed out you can see paper is of the latin text and i've also got some notebooks in there that i keep all together which are for vocab the smaller wallet zip wallets i plan on using for revision cards when I do make them eventually uh, for finals. This one is for my Hellenistic philosophy, it's empty, Latin philosophy, some Latin text in the background, and my Roman history six, again empty. But I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing at the moment with these. I might find other uses for them simply because now that I have my iPad, I am not really printing out the text anymore because I'm using the text on my notes app. So to translate so these might find other uses for them this one i've obviously worked on before i got the ipad yeah this is pretty much what i've got at the moment and the way i organize things